YouTube channel and thank you listeners who will watch and listen to this video by the way I'm going to talk about a graphical presentation of frequency distribution with equal class size and I'm talking from the books mathematics in the modern world edited by Gemma S. Ligaspi so in a graphical presentation of frequency distributions with equal class size have steps in constructing frequency charts. Steps 1 is level either class limits or class marks along the horizontal axis. Step 2, plot the frequency of each class along the vertical axis above the class mark of the corresponding class. Step 3, the vertical scale must always include 0. Step 4, the horizontal scales must include only the range of the observed data and one extra interval at each end. Steps 5. The vertical axis height should be approximately three-fourth the length of the horizontal axis. So the frequency histogram is a set of a vertical bars whose areas are proportional to the frequencies presented. So here is the example on how to graph a frequency or called frequency histogram. So first is we are going to identify the frequency of the problem. So here is the example about frequency histogram. A row score of a 50 student and 100 item test. First is we are going to find the frequency of each classes given in the problem. So classes, we have five category, which is 51 to 60, 61 to 70, 71 to 80, 81 to 90, and 91 to 100. Find the frequency is to count the score between 51 to 60. So here, Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the frequency between 51 to 60 is equal to 12. If you want to find the frequency of the rest classes, you can pause the video and tap to play later to check your answer. So here is now the frequency of each classes. So 61 to 70 has, has 9. 71 to 80 has 10 students, 81 to 90 has 11 students, 91 to 100 has 8 students with a total of 50 frequency. And the total of the frequency is equal to the number of the students who take test. So here is the example of frequency histogram. So as we discussed a while ago about the graphical presentation of frequency distributions with equal class size has a steps and steps 1 level either class limits or class marks along the horizontal axis. Step 2 plot the frequency of each class along the vertical axis above the class mark of the corresponding class. Step 3 the vertical scale must always include zero. Step 4. The horizontal scale must include only the range of the observed data and one extra interval at each end. Step 5. The vertical axis 
height should be approximately three-fourth the length of the horizontal axis. There, this is the class and this is the frequency. So from 51 to 60, it has a 12 student. So we are going to 51. 51 to 60 has 12 students. So it should be here. And like that. The line should be before the 61. Because the classes is 51 to 60. So it has a 12 student. Next is 61 to 70. Next frequency is 9. Which is between 61 to 70. So here, 9 and 61 to 70. Next is 10 between 71 to 80. Assuming that it is a straight line. So next is 81 to 90. It has 11. 81 to 90. It has 11. I'm not good enough for. 81 to 90 has 11. Like this. Oops. Before the. Before the. So that is the example of a graphical presentation of frequency distribution with equal class size or called frequency histogram. So that's all and thank you for watching and listening in this YouTube channel Nalin Leaf Blog. Hope you, you learned from me.